Hello and welcome. I want you to be the first to see this amazing car we're gonna work on here. Welcome, my name is David Elliott. We're gonna do some demonstrating here of the Pearl Nano products. We have early 2000 Toyota Sienna. And I don't know if you can see it from there, but this thing is trashed. There is dirt and mold embedded in this paint. There are scratches everywhere. There's mold stuck in all the corners. It's really rough. You know, I want you to hear what it sounds like when I rub my hand on this. That's all the stuff built on to the paint. It is just really gross. Okay, not only is it dirty, there's mold stuck into the paint. We're going to use, and we're gonna be using the, uh, the clay lube, the clay bar right here. We're gonna use the water spot killer because that's really the only thing that's gonna really take this off. And after that, we're also going to compound it using the correction compound with the, the foam pads. And I, and I think we'll just give it a shot here with the new ceramic compound and the microfiber pad. We do have our DA here, 21 millimeter throw. We got those things stacked to the ceiling. And if you haven't seen our new brush kit, here's the box. These are these cool brushes with the boar hairs. They're really nice. And we're gonna get into all the cracks and crevices and get that mold out. Okay, and then in between to, uh, to decon the water spot killer, we'll use the decon, okay? Again, my name is David Elliott. We're here at Pearl Nano headquarters. And we're gonna work on this car. But I think we're gonna do is we're also going to tape it off. So this demonstration is for DIY people and professional detailers, but the professionals, they pretty much know, already know how to do this. So if you're a DIY detailer and you wanna do this at your with your car at home, these are the products you wanna get. You wanna get the clay lube, the clay bar, let's open this up and check it out. It's not the typical clay. This is a synthetic clay sponge. It has this rubber texturized surface here. And all this is gonna do is take the little humps of environmental fallout and it's going to cut them off, okay? And hopefully not scratch the car too much, but we're gonna polish it anyways. So again, we're gonna use in the, the clay lube and the clay bar, and then we're going to polish this out. But for one, it is a little dirty. So I want to, I want to clean it a little bit. So I think we'll, uh, we'll clean it with a decon. This is just gonna remove any dirt. I don't wanna grind in the dirt. It doesn't even go. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I'm gonna get the microphone here. That's the towel rubbing against the surface. Can you hear that? Oh my gosh, it sounds like sandpaper. Okay. There's the dirt, check that out. You can see that right there. You can even see it on the towel right there. Wow, that's pretty amazing. So, even after I'm done, it feels like there's overspray all over this thing. I don't think there is though. It's just dirt and neglect, okay? So, here we go. We are going to, we're going to first, we're gonna just do, show you how the, the clay lube works. It's a non or a non silicone clay lube.
And you're just gonna wanna just go back and forth. Can you hear that? Can you hear that? Wow, I haven't seen too many cars sound like that. That's pretty rough, okay? We're just trying to take off years of environmental fallout. Oh gosh, this is rough. Smells good. It's also pulling a lot of dirt. It's also sounding better now that it's nice and smooth. A lot smoother. I don't know if you can tell, but the dirt coming up from this thing is this is the dirt that's stuck on the surface that makes it dull, that makes it yucky. Okay, that's uh. Pretty dirty there. So, okay, so that's, uh, it's a lot smoother, but not that smooth, okay? We're going to take the water spot killer, and we're gonna do the same thing as the clay lube. And, it's gonna be a little bit more gentle with it because it is a light acid. I don't really want it on my fingers, even though I have gloves on on my clothes. You shouldn't do this in the sun. You really should only do this out of the sun and out of the heat. Don't let it dry. And again, this is the Water Spot Killer. It's one of our best selling products. It really works great. It takes off stains. It takes off water spots. It takes off a lot of things. It's also a wheel cleaner. It's a lot of products all mixed into one. It really works well and it saves professional detailers anywhere between 15 minutes and 45 minutes per car just getting off some of the grime and some of the stuff that either you don't want to get off of the polisher. All right, I can feel it's definitely getting smoother in some places. So getting a lot dirtier. All right, and that's that's it for that. Now we want to neutralize it. We would neutralize this with. We're going to use a damp towel. We're also going to use decon. We could use the waterless car wash. We could use a lot of different things. But I want to neutralize this with soap and water. Something to. Uh, minimize the caustic elements that are in it at the moment. So I'm just gonna neutralize it with this and then I'm going to wipe it down with a damp towel here, okay? And you definitely don't wanna get this in your eyes. You don't wanna, you know, you don't wanna aerosolize it and I would rather that you pour it on 
Don't spray it on. Definitely don't put it on a window in the sun. It could etch the window. We don't want that. Okay. We might even uh, use some APC, some all-purpose cleaner. This is brand new. We just came out with this. Great on everything. It comes in the concentrate. This is mixed 10 to 1 or 1 to 10, but you can mix it any way that you like. And it works really well. Interiors, exteriors, any way, upholstery. Everybody needs a good all-purpose cleaner. Again, APC, Pearl Nano, callingalldetailers.com and pearlnano.com for the retail site. Calling All Detailers is the wholesale or professional detailer site. If you, don't ha if you are a professional detailer and you don't have a login, call Jen at sales at pearlnano.com and she will get you a login. All right, so I don't know if you guys have uh, used one of these before. You could use a cigarette cellophane. You could use a um, sandwich bag. This is the outer lining of what, what the, the microfiber pads come in. I'm just gonna dry it off a little bit more. And I'm gonna feel how many bumps are on there to see if I got off all of the, the, the contamination. You know what, a lot of it has come off. I felt this earlier and it was like a braille encyclopedia. There's still quite a bit. Oh, it's especially down here. Now I could choose to do the whole thing over again, or I could hit it with the polisher and see if that takes it off. Okay, I'm just gonna show you how that works. And we'll move on to the next demonstration here. Again, we have used the clay lube, the clay bar, we cleaned it up with, uh, with the microfiber towel and then we used the water spot killer on top of all that. And then we deconned it with decon and all purpose cleaner, wiped it down. And here we have, we have, it's, uh, it's so much cleaner. Let me uh, get the microphone here and I'm gonna put my hand across it. I can barely hear it now, okay? It's still kind of rough, but it's a lot better a lot better. The first thing we're gonna do is we gotta put the pad on the polisher, okay? It's already plugged in. We're going to put this on straight if possible. This is the coarse pad. This one's a little bit more robust. It's going to knock down the big swirls, the big scratches. We're gonna use the correction compound for this. This is the pink compound. It's a diminishing abrasive. The more you use it, the smaller it gets. So you can use one product with different pads and get a different effect. So we're using a coarse pad on this time, and then we're going to use a fine pad or a soft pad, and then we're gonna see what we have here. I'm going to tape off this other side, and I'm gonna use do the, the microfiber pad and the ceramic compound on this side, okay? Again, you can do this at home. We have these for sale. We have these for sale. We have all of this for sale. Okay, we're gonna put a couple drops. Okay, that's a big drop. That's even a bigger drop. I'm gonna set this at two. On, it's gonna get a little loud. So just wanna warn you, it's gonna get a little loud. I'm just gonna do a couple passes and then we'll switch pads, and then we'll do the microfiber pad on that side, okay?
Again, we're using the coarse foam pad with the cutting compound, correction compound, the pink one, and this is to knock down the big scratches. Well, it's more of a medium to fine. I do see some super big scratches in there. This isn't gonna take out the very, this isn't a heavy cut. You could use a heavy cut first. This is a medium to light and it gets smaller as you use it. So it's an all-in-one, but not a heavy cut. Just wanna make sure you understand what that means, okay? We're gonna go with this foam pad. It's a very nice, soft, soft pad here. And we're just going to put in a couple drops. You would call this a finishing pad. And that would just finish off what we're doing here. A lot of professional detailers will spend all day long doing layer after layer after layer. I only spend a few minutes on this. This is just a demonstration, okay? This isn't going to be 95% ready for ceramic coatings. This is just a demonstration. How these products work, how I was able to decontaminate the car, how I was able to polish it for just a few minutes and get a great result here, okay? Again, just to recap, we deconned, we water spot killed, we used the clay bar. And now we've polished with the coarse pad and the soft pad. So next we wanna take off the excess oils, okay? And we're going to use the decon, it's a ceramic coating prep, it, it dissolves the cutting compounds. And the oils in the cutting compounds. And we're gonna use this nice fluffy microfiber towel. Okay. I don't know if you can see that from the camera, but it looks pretty glossy to me. For 20 year old paint that hasn't been taken care of, it looks really good. And again, I'm taking all the oils off, so there's no fake oils or fillers or any junk like that. What you see is what you get on this paint. And it looks pretty good. You got some deep scratches right there, but overall, this looks really good. Okay, I think it's very important to take before, during, and after pictures. There's a great 50-50 shot there. I don't know if you can see that or not. I know I can. And we're gonna go back to using this to see if I got all the contamination off. Oh my God, there's probably 10% what was on there before. Feels great. I said we we're gonna try this side with the microfiber pad and the other compound. Again, this compound, this is the ceramic abrasive compound. It's designed to work with the microfibers, the microfiber pads. You got different ones out there. We carry this one. It's a nice white fluffy one. Works really well. You can reuse it multiple times, wash it. And we're gonna see how this works versus the other one. Just put a couple, couple blobs here. I tend to use too much, but better than too much than too little. All right, I'm just gonna try not to smear it all over, try not to sling it is what I'm trying to do. All right, let's see how this works. It's gonna be a little loud, okay, you ready? All right, maybe you wanna, I guess you can move this kind of out of the way. you notice with this cutting compound that is a ceramic abrasive compound there's no dust do you see any dust there is no dust 
it, it goes clean. We call it going down to zero. So I can even demonstrate again. I'm just gonna put some right here. Try this with your typical dinosaur aged compound, okay? I'm just gonna go. For one, there's still some dirt in this paint. It's amazing that it can be like that. But we are, okay, what are we doing here? So we're going to finalize it with a little bit of this and then we'll be finished. And we'll wipe it off and we'll see what we get, okay? All right, again, little dust, little to no dust. Finishes down to zero, makes an amazing impression here. We just finished it off there with the correction compound. Okay, I'm gonna wipe off the residue, which is extremely easy. Okay, you see all the dust? Oh, that's right, there isn't any dust. And then we're gonna also wipe it down with the decon here. Very slippery. Very nice. So if you wanted to protect this afterwards, you could use our spray-on ceramic. You could use Speed Coat, the ceramic waterless car wash. You could use the Max Wax Spray. It's a Carnuba wax with polymers, Carnuba wax and fillers, it will fill in some of the spider webbing if you still have that left behind. I don't see any spider webbing here. I see some big scratches. I don't see any little scratches. It actually looks pretty damn good. Pretty darn good, excuse me. And uh, if you would, you could call this a paint enhancement. This is, I wouldn't call this a paint correction. It's really just a demonstration. Again, my name is David Elliott. Please go to Calling All Detailers for those professional detailers or go to pearlnano.com, pick up a set of all of this and then some. Even pick up one of these polishers. I think it's $250. Sure beats the $600 out there. And the brush kit, you gotta check out this brush kit. It's really nice. Also, if you wanna check out my podcast, it's 10xdetail.com, the 10x detail podcast. That's 10xdetailpodcast.com. If you're a professional detailer and you want to be on the show, go to my website, 10xdetail.com, and sign up on the schedule to be on the show. All right, again, lastly, my name is David Elliott. Go to my website, pearlnano.com, and callingalldetailers.com. Until the next video, I'll see you later.